Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and I'm a full-time seven-figure eBay and Shopify seller. What I'm going to be doing in today's video is breaking down why my eBay account got banned and what I did to get it back. It's going to be a little bit of a story time, so make sure you grab your popcorn, your tea, your drink, whatever you need. I'm going to be breaking down how it got banned, what I did, how I felt when it got banned and, you know, the amount of money that I lost. And I'm also going to be explaining why do eBay accounts get banned in the first place. So I'm going to be explaining my reason as to why my one got banned and I'm also going to be explaining why a lot of eBay accounts get restricted. This is one of the most common questions that I get on a daily basis in the comments down below and in my Instagram DMs, which is, Sam, why did my eBay account get banned? I'm not sure what I did wrong. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly what I think about it. So make sure you stick around to the end. As always, I don't wanna waste any more time and I wanna jump straight into the video. So if you do find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well so that YouTube can alert you every single time. I release a video just like this that's gonna help you guys make money online let's not waste any more time let's get right into it all right so the story of when my ebay account got banned by the way this story took place around a couple years ago i was on holiday having a good time enjoying myself and then you know i was two days three days into the holiday and i received an email from ebay saying that my ebay account is going to be banned seven days into the future from that point so seven days from when i received that email ebay basically was letting me know that they're going to ban my account and they was going to ban it for around seven days or 14 days i can't remember how long exactly it was i think it was seven days that they were going to ban it for so when i received that email from ebay obviously i was upset because you you know, I was on holiday, I was supposed to be having a good time, but instead, all I'm hearing is that my eBay account was gonna get restricted. At this point, eBay was like my full-time job and I was solely relying on the income that I was getting from eBay. And at that time, I was probably making around 8,000 pound in revenue per week. So the week that they were gonna close my eBay account, I was gonna lose out on 8,000 pound worth of revenue. And bear in mind that I do have employees and I have people that I pay, whether it's my staff that help me ship out orders or whether it's people that do my customer service. I've got various different people that help me with the day-to-day -day of my business and the fact that they were going to close down my eBay store for seven days, it really did upset me around that time. So I emailed them straight away and I asked them what was the reason as to why they were restricting my eBay account and what they said is that I was communicating with the buyers, asking them to send the money to me directly through PayPal. So what would happen is that a customer would message me and say that they wanted to order one of my items and that they wanted to send the money directly to me via PayPal. So what I would always do is that I would always respond through the eBay messages and just give them my PayPal address. So I wasn't really thinking about you know whether this was wrong or whether it was right all i'll do is to simply reply to the customer with my paypal email address so that they can send the money directly to me so i didn't realize that this was obviously against ebay's terms and conditions and as a result they restricted my account but they didn't restrict my account straight away they actually sent me a couple warnings beforehand they sent me one email maybe two emails letting me know that if i don't stop taking money outside of ebay from the customers then they will restrict my account but i never got those emails or i never saw them or i never paid attention to them and as a result of this they banned my account for seven days now i was lucky that they only restricted my account for seven days but i feel like if i wasn't doing as much money as what i was doing in terms of revenue then they would have restricted my account for longer but the first thing i want you guys to know well there's a lot of things that i want you guys to learn from this mistake that i made the first mistake is that you shouldn't be telling customers to send you money outside of ebay even if a customer messages you and says hey can i send the money outside of ebay because it will be cheaper and i'll send the money straight away you should say no to them so it's not wrong if the customer is saying that that's what they want to do it's only wrong if you respond back to them and basically confirm that they can do that or that they can send the money outside of ebay because ebay is watching every single message by the way this is something that you guys need to know as well you can't swear to customers you can't you know ask them to send you money you can't say inappropriate things to customers because every single message back and forth from the customers ebay is monitoring every single message so you need to bear this in mind when it comes to communicating with your customers always make sure to read upon ebay's policies and what they say you know in terms of what's right what's wrong and make sure that you follow it so if we look at reasons why you your eBay account was probably suspended or restricted on eBay's page. It says here that one of the reasons are you need to pay your eBay selling fees that you may have not paid. You need to reimburse eBay for a refund or a claim paid to the buyer. So if a buyer opens up a case and eBay has refunded them on your behalf, but now you owe the money to them, you're obviously going to have to pay the money back to eBay. If not, then you may get your eBay account restricted. So it's very important that you double check if you owe any fees to eBay or if you owe any sort of refunds or reimbursements to eBay. This is something that you need to check, especially if you're new seller and you're not aware of how to do it make sure that you learn exactly how to do it by going into your ebay account on a regular basis so that you don't fall victim to getting your ebay account banned the next one is that you have violated one of ebay's rules or policies so i'm going to go through one of the main reasons as to why your ebay account might be getting banned in my own opinion from the people that i've spoken to anyway i'm going to go through in a minute and show you one major thing that you need to avoid
void in a moment. And then finally, eBay say that they couldn't verify your account information. So now that eBay is using eBay managed payments to send transactions back and forth from buyers to sellers, it's very important that you make sure that you update your details, make sure everything is accurate. You also now need to give your passport information or driving license number, I believe, or NI. And you have to also make sure that all of the details are correct because eBay actually run a soft credit check on your credit profile. When I logged into my credit profile, I realized that eBay actually double checked my information to make sure that it was correct. So you can't try to put wrong information when you're signing up to eBay because if you try and put wrong information in terms of your date of birth, your address, your name, and they're not able to verify that when they do a credit check, then you may get restricted. So this is one of the most common reasons why you might be getting restricted because you're putting incorrect information. But when it comes to violating one of their rules and policies, one of the main policies that I believe a lot of people are violating on a regular basis is the fact that they're selling items that are not genuine and then they're listing it as you know real or authentic or original. And eBay have a way of double checking whether or not you're allowed to be selling a particular item. And the way that they do it is by using a program or a software called Verified Rights Owner Program, which is often referred to as the Vero program. So the Vero program is basically eBay's way of making sure that you're not selling an item that has been trademarked by the owner of the trademark. So for example, the word Apple is owned by the company Apple. So if you're trying to sell an item and you're using the word Apple in your listing or your description or something like that, then you may get your eBay account banned if you're not able to prove to eBay that you're a registered reseller of that product. So this is one of the main reasons that I've seen as to why people get their eBay accounts banned is because they're selling items from China and then listing it as genuine. Whereas they can't do that because most items that come from China are not necessarily authentic items. So one common mistake that I see a lot of people making is that they go over to websites like alibaba.com or any website that you're able to find suppliers based in China and then they try to find items that are branded and try to import it into their country. But one thing that I learned in the early years of me trying to sell online is that any item that you get from China that is listed as branded, if you're finding it on places like Alibaba, are most likely replicas. You're not really able to find authentic items from China, especially if it's coming from a normal seller and expect it to be real. But what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you what I'm talking about. So I've just jumped over to Alibaba.com and what I'm gonna do is type in Nike tracksuit just right there and then I click on search okay right there there's this seller right here let me just click into the actual listing so as we can see this seller on alibaba.com is selling this Nike tracksuit we can see that they've only been there for less than a year so you know they're probably a scammer that's trying to sell fake items but this is one of the most common mistakes that a lot of people make is that they try to import these items now I'm not saying that this person is a scammer that they're going to steal your money they're probably going to send you the items and you're going to try and sell them but if a customer complains to eBay and they say that they were sold a fake item then that's a quick way to get your account restricted. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use websites like alibaba.com or you shouldn't try and source items from China because obviously that's what I do. A majority of companies all around the world use suppliers, manufacturers, you know, trade companies in China for them to be able to sell goods. So by no means am I saying that you shouldn't source products from China, but the key is to make sure that you don't source any branded items. You know, obviously there's a lot of different consumer electronics that you can import from China that are not necessarily branded. And it doesn't need to be a brand name in terms of Nike or Adidas or Gucci or anything. That's related to clothes. It can even be a brand name like Philips or Sony or anything like that. It can be anything in any category. You just need to make sure that it's not a brand name because it's very unlikely that a major brand is gonna allow a supplier in China to sell their goods. So that means that automatically, if you do come across any major brand name on alibaba.com or DHK or any sort of place where you can find suppliers in China, just know that it's probably a replica. So if your eBay account has been suspended for any reason, it doesn't have to be the reason that I just showed you now in terms of selling fake items. It could be for any different reason. There's hundreds of different reasons as to why your eBay account might have got suspended. You can try and contact them and appeal the decision, you know, send them an email or call them. It's always good to try and call them and speak to someone, you know, find out the reason, see if they're going to tell you the reason. If they're not able to tell you the reason, then I would say try and open up another account and this time try and do things right. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be able to open up another eBay account with zero issues because it all depends on the reason why they banned your eBay account in the first place, but it's definitely possible to get your eBay account if you contact them and you appeal the decision. Now, when your eBay account is banned you're not going to be able to do the following things i just want to let you know this so that you're aware in the future if this does happen to you you're not going to be able to bid buy or sell leave any feedback create new listings or revise any existing listings contact bidders reply to your ebay messages and receive payouts 
So it's very important that you make sure you read up on eBay's policies and terms and conditions and all of those details because you don't want eBay banning your account and you're not even able to receive your payouts. That's gonna be an even bigger nightmare. I've got more and more videos coming out in terms of why eBay accounts get banned, what you can do, you know, different reasons, things that you need to avoid. I've already made the videos and I'm editing them as we speak. So make sure that you subscribe down below and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss all the useful videos that are gonna be out very, very soon. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. I really appreciate that. And don't forget to comment as well and let me know what you thought of the video down below. I'm trying to respond to every single comment that's put on this video. So make sure if you've got any questions, you put it down below. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.